Have you been playing Apex since day one? Have you had moments where muzzle flash has stopped you from being able to track your target perfectly? Well have no fear cause less muzzle flash is here. Alongside patch 4.1 we have less muzzle flash with the new limited time mode Dejalu introducing some new equipment changes and also a lot of meta changes regarding legends and weaponry. The important thing to know is that in this mode it features a new equipment called Evo Shields, which basically the shield evolves as you do more damage. Although the Evo Shield is only meant to be in the LTM, there have been reports that it has been in the normal and ranked game mode. Like any other event, there are 24 limited premium cosmetics as well as the new Octane Heirloom set, which is actually pretty sick. Just look at that animation dude. Going over the legend changes, Bloodhound has gotten another buff, this time to his Q or his scan ability. They have increased the scan distance by three times, so now he can scan enemies in a 75 meter radius. They also increased the time to activate the scan from 0.4 seconds to 0.8 with the hopes that this will encourage players to use Bloodhound's scan more as an initiation effect rather than a mid-fight tactic. The scan duration is also increased from 2 to 3 seconds. Gibraltar was very strong and borderline broken when they increased his arm shield to 75 and also added a fast res inside of his dome. So with this patch he has his gun shield health reduced back down to 50. So overall this is a good step in the right direction. For crypto he has more of a quality of life change where his primary weapon will now automatically reload while he is using his drone. This change is very handy and will allow Crypto to be more aggressive when setting up his fights. Moving on to inventory, they increased the overall inventory slots by 2, so base inventory slot goes from 8 to 10, and then common backpack 10 to 12, and then 12 to 14, and 14 to 16. However, they basically reduce all of the light, heavy, and energy ammo stacks from 80 to 60, grenades are reduced to 1 per slot, and small meds are reduced from 6 to 4, and big meds are reduced from 3 to 2. When you put all of the inventory changes together, it overall looks like a bag nerf, and I get their intention with the throwables being very heavily spammed in endgame circles, but I'm not sure why they had to change meds with the inventory as well. The Peacekeeper was nerfed from a mag size of 6 to 5, they increased its reload time by 0.15 of a second, and also its reload time with an empty mag from 3.5 to 3.6. They also say that they slightly increased the scale of the spread from 1.6 to 1.7, but overall as a weapon, this feels the exact same. The damage is untouched and it's still one of the strongest guns in the game. The Sentinel received a 5 damage increase from 65 to 70 per shot, and they also reduced the time it takes to rechamber it from 1.85 down to 1.75 seconds. In the previous patch, bonus shield damage from Disruptor didn't carry over, so using it when they had less than 65 shield was inefficient. Also, the overall DPS of the weapon wasn't worth it unless you could consistently hit headshots. It's good that they upped the base damage a bit so the gun is actually more usable overall. After using it in the firing range, I feel like you can be just a bit more aggressive positionally than you could before. For quality of life adjustments, we have muzzle flash being reduced when aiming down sights for all weapons except for shotties and snipers. This is a very good change and has been something that it should have been implemented way earlier than now, but at least we have it now. The worst offenders being the R99 and the Havoc are now actually usable in low light areas. Here's a comparison with the R99 with the gold barrel in a previous yeah, patch compared to the R99 without any barrel at all the today. The on the iron side is insane. <laughs> I can't see shit, dude. <laughs> Even oh, while hip firing, it's so hard. Also, at the time of this recording, it is important to note that the gold barrel is bugged and will produce more muzzle gas compared to any of the other barrels are not running a barrel at all. They've also added red dots to the iron sights for the Prowler and the L-Star, so it will be slightly easier to see your enemies when you're shooting with them. Regarding the heirloom system, when you could only previously get it from Apex Pack, after 500 packs maximum, they're changing it so that you can now get heirloom shards, and once you've reached 
500 packs, at the very least, you would be able to choose which heirloom you want to craft. And in a sense, this eliminates the RNG and people will be able to pick the heirlooms that they desire. Overall, the muzzle flash nerf feels amazing and I bet that many other mouse and keyboard players will actually get a chance to compete with the controller players, especially because now we can actually see what we're shooting as opposed to having to guess. It felt like before we were trying to blindly predict where people were going while tracing, but now we can actually physically see our target as they move directions. So this is the best thing about this patch. I also like that the throwables were nerfed to one per inventory slot, but the overall med change is kind of weird. I, I'm personally not a fan. Evo shields should not be in pubs and rank, and I don't understand why it is, because they said specifically that they were going to set this up just for the LTM and collect data on it before choosing to implement it. They also fixed the vault key bug, where Mirage Voyage for the longest time was the only place where you could get one and nowhere else on the map. But now that more people are getting it, there's an excess of gold armors throughout the map and it doesn't really feel balanced for some reason. I'm honestly surprised that they haven't changed the scout at all. And especially the fact that it uses light ammo, it just benefits the spammable nature of this gun. So I feel like maybe another change could be changing it from light to sniper ammo. I know they did categorize it as an AR, but face it, the scout is not an AR as much as you want to call it. What's your favorite thing about this event? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.